In this video, we're going to learn how to ray trace and find the image of a virtual object with a diverging lens. And in this case, our object distance we're going to take to be greater than the focal length of the lens. So in this case, our object distance is going to be minus 40 centimeters. And let's say that the focal length of our lens is minus 20 centimeters. So this is a diverging lens, meaning it's going to have a negative focal length. And this is a virtual object, which I've drawn as sort of a squiggly ghost like thing over here. And so it's going to have a negative object distance. Typically, real objects are on the left of a lens. And when something is on the right of the lens, we take that to be a virtual object because we assume that light is propagating from left to right in our optical system. So we want to find the following. I want to find the image location, the magnification of the system, whether the image is real or virtual. And I want to trace a couple of rays through this system and see what those look like. So how do we start? Well, I usually start with the math. So this tends to be easier to do and it also helps inform the ray tracing. So we're going to first by finding the image distance. And to figure that out, we can use our favorite equation, our 1 over DO plus 1 over DI is equal to 1 over F. Now we have DO and we have F. What we want to find is DI. And DI is just equal to 1 over F minus 1 over DO all inverted. Now we'll want to be very careful with the signs here because we've got a lot of minus signs floating around. So I know the focal length is negative 20 centimeters. So I've got a 1 over negative 20 and I'll, I'll pull the centimeters out over here. And then I subtract a 1 over negative 40. And that all has to be inverted and then it's in centimeters. Now, because I'm subtracting a negative quantity, I can make these both positive. And negative 1 over 20 plus 1 over 40 is just negative 1 over 40. So my image distance is negative 40 centimeters. And so we've got one of the four things that we need. So we can put a big checkbox on here. Now, because this is a negative value, that means that the image is virtual which means it's going to be on the left hand side of the lens. So it's not going to be real. The, there's, not, there's not going to be rays that actually converge to meet each other. It's going to be as if they look like they're coming from a certain point. So our image is going to be virtual. We can also figure out the magnification just with our favorite equation, or our, sorry, second favorite equation. This was our favorite, uh, minus di over do. Now again, we got to be careful with the negative signs. So we've got a minus out front and then a minus 40 centimeters. And then we're dividing that by our object distance, which is also minus 40 centimeters. And so these two minus signs cancel out and we're left with a magnification of negative one. So we expect our image to be over here in the sort of lower left part because it's got a magnification that's negative. So the object is going to be pointing down or the image is going to be pointing down. It's also got a magnification of a magnitude of one. So it's going to be about the same size as the object and it's virtual. So it's over here. Now, how do I do my ray tracing for this problem? Well, I, I'll need at least two rays and I'm going to choose my favorite two rays to draw in this type of situation, one of which is going to pass straight through the center of the lens because those rays don't get disturbed. They don't change their path. So it's one of the easiest to draw. And I know that, you know, it's going to come from somewhere and it's going to go to my virtual object. And we'll figure out how it gets to the image in a, in a minute. But I also know that a virtual object, what it means is that if this lens weren't here, then my rays would converge to this location. So if I sent in my second favorite ray, which is going straight in through this lens, if the lens weren't here, it would go straight to my object. And so this is what the ray would look like. 
But of course, if I send in a ray straight into this lens, it's going to be bent. And it's going to be bent more steeply than this ray because the focal length is shorter. It's, it's half as short, so it's going to be roughly twice as steep. So if I were to draw out what the ray would look like, it might look something like this. So this is what actually happens to the ray. Now, I see that this ray is diverging away from this ray. They're never going to meet. And that's good. That's what I wanted. Uh, because the image is virtual, so they shouldn't ever meet. So all I have to do is trace back where it looks like this ray is coming from. So if I trace it back, trace it back, trace it back, trace it back, this is where the two meet. And so this is going to be the location of my image. And it looks like I got my angles roughly correct because this distance we expect to be minus 40 centimeters. And indeed, it looks about the same distance as my object. So I've, uh, we've done a pretty good job ray tracing. And the size looks about the same. And so we've, we've done a good job there as well, because we expect it to be pointing upside down and have a magnification with magnitude 1. So we're pretty confident that this is the correct way to ray trace this problem. And all we had to do is draw where our rays would have converged to at the virtual object, which is how a virtual object is defined, and then figure out where the rays actually went. So this ray, the one that goes straight through the, through the lens, still goes straight through the lens. Uh, but the ray that appears to go, or that would have gone to the top of the object, instead gets bent off. And so these two rays, I can back out to where my virtual image is located. And that's how you solve this problem, which I would argue is probably the most complex single lens problem you can do. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated, and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind-the-scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like-minded community, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.